Hivers, welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working with the paper pumpkin again. This is the Sunshine and Smiles February 2023 <laughs> Paper Pumpkin Kit. Let me show you what this kit makes. These are the cards that are intended to be made with this kit. And today, we're going to be showing you 12 alternate projects that was made using this kit. But before we get into that, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. So first, we're going to start off with our 10 years of growth paper pumpkin kit because paper pumpkin is celebrating 10 years. They are going to be giving out a free stamp set to celebrate the 10th year of paper pumpkin. So that will be in the kit. So you have um, two stamp sets in there. And you'll also be getting um, a polished pink stamping spot. So there's a link below in the description box for you to subscribe to the Paper Pumpkin. And today is the last day for celebration. Paper Pumpkin is one of the greatest ways to earn you some free products, okay? So get a um, like six months to 12 month prepaid subscription and you can earn some products from celebration. Speaking of celebration, these are the items that were added to more to celebrate. So we've added 10 new products to the celebration lineup. You still have a couple hours to get this in. So this is the celebration brochure. Some of the products in here have sold out, but you still have time to get some of them. We have some at $50 level and $100 level, meaning if you spend $50 or more before shipping and tax, you can earn some products for free. And then the $100, if you spend $100 before shipping and tax, you can earn those items for free. During celebration, we also have a join special where your kit is $99 plus tax. Shipping is free. And during celebration, you earn $175, not earn, you have the opportunity to put $175 worth of product in your kit. That's $50 more than the standard starter kit, okay? You will usually have $125 to choose from. So, if you want this cute little mini boho blue Stampin' and Cut Emboss machine, you'll pay $129 for your starter kit. So, you can either get it in blue or white, but you'll still receive $175 in product in your starter kit. And you get to choose it. It's totally customizable, okay? So, if you're going to spend $99 or more, you may as well join Stampin' Up! and get the starter kit. You'll get all these extra freebies in your starter kit. And you don't have to do anything after that. You can just simply join, get your discount up until, I think, July or August. One of those. You'll get a discount. And if you don't sell anything, nothing happens. You just go back to being a customer. Next up, we have our online exclusive products that will be available tomorrow for customers. Yay! So these are some of the products, and we're going to have a bunch more tomorrow, okay? So just a sneak peek of those. Lastly, we have our host code for February. Today is the last day for you to place an order, $50 or more before shipping and tax, using this particular host code, and you will receive an Enamel Dot Essentials pack for free from me, Honeybee Stampin' Hive, not through Stampin' Up. That is my special only, okay? So now let's go ahead and get into this alternate projects for our paper pumpkin kit now today we are not going to be making any products on um, projects because i have so many to show you so this is just i just wanted to show you what i had left from this kit i had a couple of the little embellishments of course the stamps two labels and two kites that's it i used everything else so we're going to start off with the three cards that i made in the last video that i changed up so these cards are basically how the kit was made so what i did was cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a no four to five and a quarter so i cut the fronts and the backs down and then this one i made into a shaker card by adding a window sheet and i used the um for everything fancy sequence in there this one i made into a shaker card and i added the clear envelope now, i had never used the envelope before but i was trying to make a faker shaker and i'm not sure if i really like the envelope i like the window sheet better but still it's just a shaker card because you guys know if i see an open 
opening, I want to make a shaker. And then on this one, I just um, adhered it down to a balmy blue card base. So I just cut it down so it will fit on the card front because I didn't want it to take up the whole card front. I wanted you to be able to see the card base. And these are on thick basic white. Okay. So those are the original cards and I just cut them down. So those are my alternates for these because I did change them up. Then we have doo -doo -doo -doo, this one here. This is using the um, Rain or Shine Specialty Designer Series paper and the Playing in the Rain dies. That's where I um, die cut this little puddle from. This paper is from the kit and this paper is from the kit, okay? And then on the inside, I also use the stamp set, Playing in the Rain. And this little embellishment, that is from the Forever Fancy um, sequence. I just found one on my desk, and so I popped it on there because I didn't want to get the um, sequence out and put it up. So I just popped it on the card. Then we have this one. It's sort of similar to the way the card is supposed to be made, but it's a different um, frame. And I use the Playing in the Rain dies, the loose daisy embellishments here, and the cloud punch. And then I did stamp this from the kit and fussy cut it out, the sun. Oh, and this is from the kit as well. These are the, um, I stamped these flowers myself and used the Sunshine and Smiles dies that were an add-on for this kit. So that's that one. This one is super cute. This was the inside of one of the cards that I made outside. I cut some of the grass that was on that heel. I cut some of that off. These flowers I stamped and die cut using the dies. I stamped and die cut this frog with the sunshine and smiles dies. It's cute. And then it is an easel card. Can you see that? So I, I made it an easel card. I like this one. I love Mango Melody. It's such a pretty color. And I use um, Flirty Flamingo to stamp our sentiment there. So that's that one. Then here's another fun one. Using the um, Rain or Shine Designer Series paper in the background in this one. This is from the Rain or Shine Designer Series paper. And the rest is from the kit. I just took a marker and colored around this um, label. Put it all on some Daffodil Delight. Isn't that cute? Oh, and I stamped this frog and colored it and die cut it. Because that's not from the kit. Okay. Next up, we have this card. I really like this card. This one was inspired by the alternate card that was shown here. Let me see if you can see that one in the middle that's what inspired this card but i used the um deckled rectangle dies and the stitched rectangles dies to get these two layers this is just the heel from the kit and i just cut it down and popped it up on dimensionals to give some dimension the flowers from the kit i just simply um cut them apart yeah this is super cute and this is just on some daffodil delight card base Oh, and that's um, Old Olive here in the background. The rest is from the kit, so yes. This one, I think this was one of the first um, alternates that I made. And it's the, um, what is this? Cajun Craze. Because <laughs> that was one of the alternating, um, coordinating colors. You can see they use it in the flower. So I just, that was a real simple one. I just wanted something simple. Some of them, I don't like to have them so difficult, but here's another that I used the Cajun Craze background. And I used the, um, what is this called? The framed florette dies to get this oval. I thought that was super cute. So yeah, and then on using this oval, when I die cut it out, of course it had a frame around it. So then I, made this card isn't that cute this is a little piece of that grass um 
from when I cut this heel, when I cut that right there, this is what I had left. And I just made it a little spot for the little frog to sit. Isn't that cute? Oh, happy day. That's from the Plan in the Rain stamp set. I just thought that was super cute. And on a flirty flamingo um, base. Then our last card is this one. This is also inspired by a card from their alternates. This one here. They use um, the Rain or Shine Designer Series paper. And I just used the elements from the kit with the plan in the rain um, dies. So these are the cloud dies, and I made them to lily pads. So isn't that cute, though? So yeah. And I didn't do anything with our envelopes because it was just um, the Mango Melody. But I was thinking I might use them. I might do something with one of the envelopes. I, I don't want to cut them all down, but I might open up one of them and use it on a, another alternate. So that might be coming sometime in a couple of weeks if I decide to do that. But yeah, those are my 12 alternates that I made using the February 2023 Sunshine and Smiles Paper Pumpkin Kit, okay? I hope you enjoy. That's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.